Hello, YouTube. As promised, uh, here's my Super Treasure Hunt collection, uh, my carded Super Treasure Hunt collection. Most of it, I got some that uh, I have to put in here still. Uh, this was full. They wouldn't fit in it. At one time, I used to display my Super Treasure Hunts uh, by hanging them up. So some of these are quite dusty. Uh, shout out to Paul Rizel. Uh Told me I should start every video showing a uh, Batmobile. So there you go, Paul. There's a Super Treasure Hunt Batmobile. This is when they didn't put a number in the top corner. 2015, 2016. Made it easy to find a special edition when they did that. And then I have uh, the other Batmobile, Super Treasure Hunt. This one's become pretty hard to get. All these Supers have really went up in value. They weren't nowhere near this uh, valuable when I started collecting them and started picking them up. You could get supers for 20 or 30 bucks, the newest ones, when they came out. They were uh, more easily to be traded for, too. So 2016. Like, both these, when they came out, I bought them off a seller on eBay for 20 bucks each. Like, when they came out. You can't touch them for, I don't know, 75 or or $100 now, maybe? Seems to be the average price of a Super nowadays. Then we got this one here. Uh, Surf's Up. 2016. Most of them are in uh, protectors. Uh, I'm unable to get protectors anymore because... Uh, I used to buy them from a guy at a flea market for a dollar. He sold Hot Wheels and stuff. But uh, he no longer sells at the flea market. He retired. So there's a couple rows of Supers on the bottom that aren't carded. This is an old one from before there were Supers. From 2000 Treasure Hunt Series. But it had rubber tires. And it's a Pikes Peak Celica. So, thought it was pretty cool. This one I remember I picked up at a flea market uh, for pretty cheap. Like a few bucks. I found this one. Uh, camera don't want to focus on the gold. But I found this one. 69 Chevelle SS 396. At a, uh, at a Mark's. It was in one of the aisles. They had set up like three or four uh, displays. And I was going through them. And I took the time, went through all four of them. And I found one Super. So, really happy to have that Super for the collection. I love the Chevelle casting. Looks pretty cool in gold. Uh, this would have been 2016. I think it might have been 2017 I found the Super there. They seem to get older cases. This is a treasure hunt. 64 Pontiac GTO. Love the color of this. This is a underrated Super. Doesn't sell for uh, what I think it should. Uh, at the time, it was pretty cheap, but I think you can still pick this one up for probably 20 30 40 bucks, or cheaper than most Supers are going for nowadays. And we got the 1990 Acura NSX from then and now, from 2016. Awesome Super, I had to have it. Because it's an Acura NSX. A casting I do collect. 
And then we have the 2017 Ford GT40. Or just the Ford GT, I guess. And dark blue. Super treasure hunt. Another one I had to have. Because I collect the Ford GT casting. Uh, it was hard enough for me to open a Super back in the day. Back in 2016 when I could get a good deal. And get one for 20 30 bucks. Just knowing it's going for $50, $70, $90, $100 now. Makes it extremely hard to open. Like this 1970 Plymouth Superbird. I've always wanted to open this Super so bad. And if I can get another Hot Wheels display case, I probably will open this Super and a bunch of them to display in it. But this Super can be hard to find. Probably sells for like 75 bucks. It's from 2014. But I think I got it like in 2015. Uh, I got a pretty good deal. I think I had to trade for that one. So. Can't even remember what all supers are in here. So. You'll be as surprised as I am with a lot of them. Like this 2017 Chevy Camaro Z ZL1. For Muscle Mania. This is from 2017-2018. But. One I had to have. Because I collect the Camaro casting. And I just love the Spectra Flame Green. If I could I collect all the gold. Spectra Flame Green. And burgundy supers that they came out with. If I could. But I can't afford to collect supers anymore. They sell for too much now. So I don't even go after them. Like the Ford GT. That came out last year. The Ford GT40. The Golf. I would absolutely love to have one of them supers. Absolutely love it. But I can't pay over $100 for a super. So, got the 2013 SRT Viper in gold. Looks pretty good in gold. And we got the 1967 Chevy C10, which is a first super I ever found i found a bunch of treasure hunts in the wild and stuff before this but i found this at a dollar tree in 2016 and it was the first super I ever found i want to crack it open so bad too it's even on a bad card it has a bend in it but it's the first super I ever found so it's kind of sentimental I guess. Not like I have found very many supers since then. Uh, I have probably found five supers in the wild. Definitely less than ten. So I haven't found very many supers. Here's another treasure hunt. This is when the super treasure hunt and the regular treasure hunt would match each other. So it was fun collecting both the treasure hunt and the super. My phone would focus. Focus. From 2011, uh, the treasure hunt was a normal S, and the super treasure hunt had the dollar symbol. But you could tell them apart from the Spectro Flame Pain and the real riders, but... Just to look at the cards, you could tell. Very awesome. 68 Olds 442. 
I have the treasure hunt loose of that, but I have never been able to crack open the super. <clears throat> Next, we got a 68 Chevy Nova. Hot Wheels with Flames. From 2018. I almost think I found this one. Can't remember. I don't think I did. I think I got a good deal on it. Now I have another one of these totes if uh, it's full of uh, RLC pieces and just like harder to get Hot Wheels and stuff. Uh, if you guys want to see that and go through that with me, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, leave comments down below. Tell me you want to see uh, the case with the RLC pieces in it and uh, I'll show that in a future video. But you got to make sure you hit that subscribe button. Next one, another old super treasure hunt. This is another one that had the S as a dollar symbol for the super. And this was from 2007. Was this the first year of the super? I almost think supers came out in 2007. Somebody comment down below because I know somebody will know the year that super treasure hunts came out. Awesome, awesome looking Camaro though. Have no idea what this one sells for. Some of these older ones you don't see very often. And when you do, they don't sell for very much. People always want the newest ones that are out. They don't really care about the ones from 5-10 years ago, seems like. Like this BMW Z4 M Motorsport. This is a casting I do collect from Hot Wheels. So, of course, I had to get this one. I think I might have every release of this casting. They haven't released it, released it for a while. Uh, this came out 2016. Man. I just think Supers are way, way overrated. For what they are. You don't get headlight or tail light detail. I think for all the hype of the Supers. And for how much they sell. I think Mattel should provide collectors. With headlights and tail lights for them. They did at one time. They supplied full detail on their Supers. Including headlight and tail lights. And we got a. T-Hunt. A treasure hunt. With real riders. This would have been before Supers. But it's a satin flat black, which I love. And a casting I do collect. She don't even have the name of it anywhere. It says T, oh, 1957 Chevy. Which I already knew. I just wanted to find the name on the package. Um, what year is it from? 2005. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure Supers came out in 2007. Still an awesome, awesome treasure hunt. Now, some of the ones in the bottom will be treasure hunts prior to uh, Supers. Like this treasure hunt. Dodge Viper, which really freaking awesome. Casting, I do collect. I know Champion DJK collects this casting too. Uh, it's not the best Viper casting, but it's still still one that we remember from our childhood. Like a lot of people do. This came out in 1996. So this might be the first year of Super Treasure Hunts. I think Treasure Hunts came out in either 96 or 96. 97, yeah, this is 96, so I think they came out in 96. Let me know if this is a first year of Super Treasure Hunts, or first year of Treasure Hunts, I mean. I think first year of Super Treasure Hunts with 2007. We got a 1970 
Chevelle SS Wagon, a casting I do collect, and the Fire Chief. Really freaking awesome. I love this one with the gold rims. And the Treasure Hunt. This is from 2012. <clears throat> and we have a 2015 Ford Mustang GT. Now, I either got a really good deal on this one or I found this one. I can't remember. I may have found this one at Walmart on my way home from work one morning. It is from 2017, 18, 2018. I think this is. I think I found it on my way home from work. I do have a handful of loose ones. Not a whole lot. I probably have 10 or less loose super treasure hunts. They've always been kind of hard for me to open because uh, kind of what they are and how much they're worth. So this is a 2001 treasure hunt series. Olds 442. Not the... Uh, Best Olds casting they have, but it is a treasure hunt with real riders. Not all the treasure hunts from before there were supers would have real riders. Sometimes they'd have two variations of it. One with real riders, one without. Now I do have one of these loose, but of course I have to have one carded. Because this is my favorite casting Hot Wheels makes. The 1970 Chevy Chevelle. I have every single release that Hot Wheels has ever had of this. Except for a wheel variation of one of the releases. But besides that I have uh, every release of it. So Actually one carded and one loose of every release of it. I love it that much. And it doesn't have all that many releases. Make sure you hit that like button. And uh, leave a comment down below. If you want me to show a video of my 1970 Chevy Chevelle collection. Uh, my favorite Hot Wheels ever made. Wish they would have a RLC release of it. They do have a metal uh, base variation that came out once in the car culture. Now we're getting into the ones that don't have protectors. So, this I would have found at a flea market. I would have got a good deal on it. But it's a treasure hunt, a super treasure hunt. From 2007, or 2008 I mean. This is when the treasure hunt would have matched the Super treasure hunt. So, really cool to have that. Even though it's a casting I don't collect or even like from them. The rock star. But, same with this thing. Would have picked it up at a flea market. Pretty cheap. Awesome set of real riders on there. Awesome gold paint with flames. I'm a sucker for flames and skulls. Quamby, it's a Quamby, looks like a Volkswagen, pretty cool, and it's from 2008, I do need to get protectors for any of these, if any of you know where you can buy these style protectors for a dollar, let me know, but uh, the cheapest I can find them is on eBay, and I think it's a couple dollars. Now, here's one I absolutely love. Chevy Corvette C6R with Real Riders Treasure Hunt from 2007. I think it's the first year that they started doing the Treasure Hunts or the Supers. And this looks like it has really bad paint rash. 
actually everything inside of there is paint chips. All that black dust. Maybe. I think it is. It sure looks like really bad paint rash on there. The supers from the first year had, yep, that's really bad paint rash. Had really, really bad paint issues. Really bad. So in the blister from the distance, that looks like a good, nice freaking super. And then you get up close and look in the paint rash. That paint is totally trashed. Completely trashed. It'd be hard to find one of these where the paint didn't do that on. The Silverado that people pay crazy money for has that issue and that problem. Well, I better speed it up if I want to get through these. There's still another row underneath this row. So this is a Muscle Tone. Treasure Hunt. 2003. Pretty goofy little car. Something I would... Would have picked up at a flea market. This is a cool one. Treasure Hunt. Cadillac Eldorado. With real riders. From 2004. There's that buggy again. Myers Mank. Pretty cool. It's a T-Hunt. From 2003-2004. So you say right on them in green. T-Hunt. Made it easy for uh, people to find. We got a 63 Chevy 2. Awesome, awesome looking treasure hunt. Looks really good in the pink. Would have been 2016. I may have found that one. May have. Then we got a T-Hunt 1958 Corvette with rubber tires. From 2005. And we got a 2001 Treasure Hunt Series. Roll cage. This one can be kind of hard to come by. It's treasure hunt. It's a super treasure hunt because it has a S symbol, the dollar sign. So there would have been a treasure hunt version of it from 2009. So the treasure hunt would have had plastic tires. And it's a motorhome, GMC motorhome, which is a casting uh, a lot of people collect, and uh, I don't think they've released a whole lot of times. We got a treasure hunt. This ain't a super. There would have been a super version of this with rubber tires and Spectre Flame paint, but this is just a treasure hunt version from 2012. But it likes hanging out with these supers, I guess. This carbonic. No idea why I have this. Unless I found this. There ain't no way I would have bought it. Unless maybe it was $10 at the... Uh, if I found it at flea market or something for 10 bucks, I might have bought it. 2016. Because I don't collect the carbonic. Cool, cool rims and tires on it, though. We'll give it that. And then we got a T-Hunt here. A Plymouth GTX. In orange. Like a burnt orange. Burgund Burgundy-ish color. Very, very, very awesome. 
It says Cuda on the front fender, Treasure Hunt on the trunk. This is from 2004. Very awesome super. And we got two more rows, pretty much, because that's a double stacked row. Another Dodge Viper, Treasure Hunt, Super Treasure Hunt has a S. There would have been a Treasure Hunt version, 2008. Awesome, awesome Viper, though. Man, that thing looks good. 76 Greenwood Corvette. I think this was a Super more than once. Hot Wheels Workshop. 2014 casting I do collect from Hot Wheels absolutely love this car man I need to get protectors for all these we got a T-Hunt hooligan awesome little treasure hunt from 2002 3 2003 We got a T Hunt shoe box. Pretty cool. The Cruise Bruiser. Had to have this super back when it came out. I don't know what the hell all the hype was over it, but I kind of liked it. So. 2016. And we got a 2000 Treasure Hunt Series Limited Edition 1970 Chevelle SS with Real Riders. The TH has definitely changed over the years. And this is from 2000, 1999. So this is a 2000 Treasure Hunt, which we already knew. And we got a Super Treasure Hunt here. There would have been a Treasure Hunt version of this 63 T-Bird. There you go. Shout out. Somebody asked me to show my Thunderbirds. I said I didn't have a whole lot of them. But uh, here's one that I didn't even know I had. A 63 Thunderbird. Super Treasure Hunt. In green. It looks pretty damn good. From 2011. Here's an awesome one that deserves a protector. 1971 Mustang Mach 1. This is one I think is going for quite a bit on eBay right now. Hot Wheel City. From 2014. Awesome, awesome super treasure hunt. Another really awesome super treasure hunt. A 2010 Ford Shelby GT500 Super Snake. Now I opened up the regular variation of this in a previous video. And even the regular variation of this super snake is beautiful. Love the five uh, spoke gold rims they put on this with the real riders. Freaking awesome, awesome super. Man, it's been a long time since I looked at these. A couple years, so I forgot what was in here. Another super treasure hunt. They did have a treasure hunt variation of this, but I love the green paint. The Spectro Flame green paint with the satin black, the flat black. My favorite, favorite real riders from Hot Wheels, the five spoke. Awesome, awesome treasure hunt. Don't care for the casting a whole lot from, uh, from 2008, but I don't really care for, for the casting a whole lot. I think they got the proportions off a little bit. Even though the cars do kind of look like this in real life, short and like, I don't know, short and stout like this, but 
Very awesome super treasure hunt though. Just love the green green and black look killer together. Here's a treasure hunt hammer sled. Super treasure hunt. There would have been a treasure hunt, but look at that big fat real rider they put on the back of that thing. A little skinny real rider up front. The gold paint with the flames. Thought it looked kind of cool. This is from 2007. So the first year of the Super Treasure Hunt. And we got another Super Treasure Hunt. Or uh, this is just a Treasure Hunt. From 2005. 34-3 window. And we got a really good treasure hunt from is this from 2007. Man, this looks awesome in the black with the gold rims. I should crack this one open. This thing looks freaking killer. Love this Corvette casting. This is probably the best variation of it. Black. Awesome, awesome racing stripes. Gold five spokes. Man. And we have a T hunt. 1940 Ford Coupe. Awesome set of real riders. Looks good in the black and gold. This is the only thing that looks good in black and gold. Just saying. $20 real riders. Damn. I don't think I paid $20 for it. I hope not. 2000 and 2006 well that's all the supers i got to show you today video took quite a bit longer than i thought it was quite a few more in the bottom of that than i thought there was holy cow thick quite a few supers in there well let me know which one was your favorite uh Man, my favorite's probably this one, just because it's the first Super I ever found in the stores. And the excitement that you get when you find a Super, I mean, it's just awesome. So, if you never found a Super, uh, just keep looking. Uh, it will happen when you least expect it. it. took me, I think, three or four years of collecting before I found my first Super. And I think I've only found maybe five Supers ever in the wild, so... Happy collect, and uh, one of them was a stupid, uh, oh, it was a real stupid fantasy one. It ticked me off. Uh, it was the one that was going around at Christmas time like two years ago. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know your favorite super. Let me know if you're, you open them or uh, if you keep them carded like me. Uh, and have a good one. Have fun collecting. Bye.